All right, so the first question we're gonna answer here is setting up using two different Bloodhound files. So one Bloodhound file, right, is gonna be used for the entry signals and a different Bloodhound file is gonna be used for the exit signals here, um, right? So basically this question is about, you know, setting up trade signals and uh, trade exit signals, right? So let's um, let's add our you know let's add a add in our first bloodhound uh, template here, and so let's open this up and you can see right the little ellipses button here is what actually opens up the bloodhound interface. So let's see let me just grab um, so I'm just gonna grab um, let's see I'll just grab this crossover two here. Click OK. And so again, this crossover two, I'm going to use this for the entry signals. So let's go down here and let's uh, select, where is it? Yes, there we go. My price inflection with MACD filter here. Right. So now I could use any of these logic templates for the trade signals. Right. So even this exit signal, if I wanted to, you know. So keep in mind that, you know, Blackbird doesn't know what is a uh, entry signal logic template versus what should be an exit signal logic template. You know, all that Blackbird knows is that, hey, there's signals coming from these logic templates and it'll trade using whatever signals you tell it to use, right? So, you know, so it's up to the user to decide, um, you know, what uh, logic templates they want to use as the entry signals, right? To open a tr trade, to open a position, All right? So you can use anything. So even if you wanted to, uh, you know, you could do something uh, non-standard such as use your you know, use your signals that were designed to exit a trade, you could, in, you know, you could, if you wanted to, to use those signals to also enter a trade if you wanted to. So again, you know, Blackbird can't discriminate between what should be a, an entry signal and what should be a, an exit signal, you know, when you're, select, when you're selecting your logic templates here. So, but just to kind of keep things um, a little simpler, basically just, you know, select whatever logic template, you know, you want to use to open trades, you know, so of course that's going to be your entry signals. Um, and then over here, what we're going to do is set up another Bloodhound template here. And, and you'll notice this time, there's a quick list here. So if I wanted to, I could use the same Bloodhound file, but this question actually is about using a separate Bloodhound file. So I'm gonna use the one from last week, right? So here, this workshop file from last week actually has an exit signal built into it. So we're gonna click okay. And now since, right, so this Bloodhound file uh, we we only want the exit signals from it. So we're going to turn off the entry signals. We're going to disable the entry signals and turn on the exit signals here. And then I can go down here and we can see we have this five bar reversal exit logic here. Right. So there you go. So this, this Bloodhound file is being used to generate the exit signals, which will flatten a, a trade, right? It'll flatten any open position. So it'll only exit a, a position that's open. So, and then over here, we have, right, this other, a different Bloodhound file that we're getting uh, trade signals, entry trade signals from, right? And so you can mix and match, you know, whatever you want here. You know, so if I wanted to, you know, if I wanted to, I could go here, I could add a third Bloodhound file. So let's just go open up some other, some other Bloodhound file here. 
So that's, um, I don't know, I'll just grab one from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, let's see what we have here. Let's see. Yeah, we have, the, I don't know, like a, a MACD, um, yeah, MACD average line bounce off of the zero line. So anyways, you know, there's some things in here that we could use as trade signals. So let's click OK. Let's use this Bloodhound file. <clears throat> and then I can go here. And then I can select, you know, whatever whatever logic template signals I want and use that also as my entry signals, right? So we can see now I have two different entry signals coming from two different Bloodhound files and Blackbird's going to trade them both, right? So basically, whichever of these logic templates um, generates a signal first, you know, will will open the a position first. All right. So basically, yeah, Blackbird is going to be, uh, you know, uh, play, taking trades using both of these um, uh, logic template signals, All right? And then it's going to use right this Bloodhound file. Uh, to exit trades, so um, and this, so this exit signal, you know, it it will close trades from either one of these um, bloodhound signals here, from either one, right? So basically, you know, Blackbird just kind of does it is it takes these si the signals from from this logic template, and it takes the signals from this logic template. And it just looks at both of them, um, and it, you know, in a way, it kind of combines them together, um, and it just trades both of them at the same time. You know, however, even though it's going to trade both of those signals at the same time, again, Blackbird is only going to open one position at a time. So Blackbird is not going to be so. Let uh, I don't know. Let me let me explain this a little better here. So so let's just quick generate a quick order set here right so let's just say my price inflection with macd that say that 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 generates a trade signal first right well then blackbird is going to you know submit a market order you know and then create the 10 tick and 10 tick profit target and stop loss but then let's say on the very next bar we get bloodhound generates a signal from this macd average bounce and there, so a trade signal gets generated from this Bloodhound file, right? This logic template. Well, Blackbird's not going to open another position. It's only so so if this if this position is still open, Blackbird's not going to keep adding to it, uh, right? So just because there are more trade signals come through from some other um, logic template. Blackbird's not going to keep adding to the existing position. All right. So again, you know, no matter how you set your trade signals up, Blackbird will only open one position at a time. Um, all right. And it's going to, it's going to ignore any extra trade signals that come through when a position is open. All right. So as long, so as long as this order as long as this, you know, this trade is still open, then new trade signals are going to be ignored. So you don't have to worry about Blackbird or Raven just adding on more and more and more and more contracts, you know, as if if more and more if more and more trade signals come through. You know, no, Blackbird's only going to open one position at a time. Yeah, so I guess another way of saying it is that if this other Logic template keeps generating more trade signals. Blackbird's not going to keep scaling in with more of these order sets here, so it's not going to keep adding to the position or scaling in. So, all right. So there you go. So you can you know you can just mix and match to your heart's content. You know, and if we wanted to, you know, we could even add, um, you know, I could add a fourth one, um, and add, we could add another exit signal here. So let's. Not sure if I could find one. Um, uh, oh, actually, yeah, I think this this crossover two actually has an exit signal in it. Uh, yeah, I just called it exit. There we go. Um, 
Yeah, something like that. So again, so I can I can disable the entry signals, enable the exit, and um, there. And I could do something like that. So basically now I have two exit signals running at the same time. And again, Blackbird just looks at the exit signals here. And whichever one, whichever one of these, you know, Bloodhound files fires off the exit signal first, that's the one that gets taken. Um, yeah, so we some, sometimes we get people thinking that, oh, Blackbird, you know, since I have the crossover two, right, I have the, this crossover two Bloodhound file here, and then I have it here, that Bloodhound, or that Blackbird is, is only gonna associate these two files together. But no, basically Blackbird kind of joins everything together and it's all just kind of considered as, as one source of, of signals. They're all combined together in, in a way of speaking. So, or another way of saying it is just, you know, whichever whichever one of these Bloodhound signals fires off first, that's the one that gets, that gets used. You know, that's the one that gets taken there. Um, yeah. So logically speaking, everything, you know, all the entries, right? So I have this, this entry signal here and I have an entry signal here. They're combined together using an OR node. So logically speaking, yeah, they're combined using an OR node. Um, and the same with the exits here, right? So this, this exit signal is joined together with this exit signal using basically an OR logic. So an OR logic. All right, so there you go. There's uh, that's the first question here of how mixing and matching and using multiple Bloodhound files for entry signals and exit signals. So that's that's that is how that works. David's asking, will all the signals show on the chart? Uh, yes, they will. Um, actually, yeah. Shoot, I guess I shouldn't have canceled everything so quickly. Yeah, let me just kind of yeah load things up here. I'm actually gonna turn off the entries and exits. All right, there, so we can see I've got three different Bloodhound files loaded into the trace signal uh, section here. And if I click OK, um, there we go. So you can see there's a little message down here telling us we need to reload the chart. So let's reload it so that way all those Bloodhounds can be added to the chart. And let's stretch this out. And we do have uh, three different Bloodhound templates being loaded with a lot in them. So it's just going to take a moment to calculate everything. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. So again, sometimes you'll see the chart gets squished like that. And that's just because Bloodhound was um, added to the chart panel. Sometimes it does that. So we can just drag it down like that. There's one. Grab the other another bloodhound drag it down so there's two and grab the last bloodhound drag it down and there's three and there you go so there is the three different bloodhound files that uh, that we're using in blackbird and of course if you stretch this out here and shrink this up right you can see here you can see the the Bloodhound file name, so there is the test two, <clears throat> and down here that is the one from October third. So yeah, it's kind of hard to read it with that line going through it, but <clears throat> that yeah, that's the Bloodhound file from last week. And then down here is the Bloodhound file. Actually, let's do this. There we go. Okay, now we can read that Bloodhound file. And then here's the Bloodhound file from September 26, uh, from three weeks, two weeks ago. Yeah, so there we go. All three um, Bloodhound files are, are loaded on here. So, and then of course the next step is to make sure that you go, right, use the pull down menu and select which logic templates you wanna see, right? So from the, let's see, from the test two, we were using the price inflection with MACD. So there we go, I can pull up those signals. 
Um, and let's see, from last week's, yeah, that was the five bar reversal exit. So we can pull that up. So there we go. In the middle would be the uh, the exit signals. Um, and then lastly, uh, let's see, I think I used this MACD average line bounce yeah, as a entry in there. And then of course you can kind of, you know, move things up and down. So if you want your exit signals at the bottom, you know, whatever, just use Ninja's, you know, charting, you know, tools here to move the various panels up and down, you know, as, as you see fit. So like so, yeah. And you can also go in here, like, like for example, since this, this bloodhound down here was the one that we're getting um, the exit signals from. If you want to, you can open that up. So I double clicked, right? I double clicked on one of the signals there. You know, basically I double clicked on the plot, right? Double clicked on bloodhound's plot. And then um, from here, actually, yeah, there we go. So we can see that we have the lines and the plots and we can go in here and we can change the colors if we wanted to. So instead of green, if I wanted to, I could use um, gold. Let's see, yeah, let's see, I'll go do gold. And then for shorts, uh, let's see, I don't know what, uh, let's see. I usually do something like gold and purple. And there, something like that. And and let's see here. Oh, yeah, let me move this back down. There. There we go. So I changed the color scheme, right, for the the bloodhound signals that are being used for exits, for exit signals. You know, you can, so you can go in there and kind of custom color each of these bloodhounds, you know, so that way you can you can visually see, you know, um, different colors, you know, for the different entries and different exit signals there. All right. So